well, I guess I still want to look at dense populations and cities as being the site where the deepest and best of humanity resides. Because in large cities, you have to negotiate all sorts of multiple realities of identity, class, identity of ethnicity, whatever. So I always see dense city populations as being the most stimulating and, and really, in all reality, the most hopeful places in any country. I figure out the title of the show first. And so the title then starts indicating what imagery. So it's, in a way, it's not a storyboard per se, but I wrote down, let's say, the three categories of opaque, translucent, and luminous. And then the egg started making sense. So it's really, I use the, the language as a prompt to see what images can meet the prompt halfway. And then once I have that kind of schema or schematic, loosely so, then I just go to the surface and start. Language has always been integral in relationship to the imagery because by nature, when you look at an image, you consciously or subconsciously attach the word to it. So maybe a way of looking at the work and experiencing the work, maybe the challenge to the viewer is to somehow construct a sentence of what you're viewing, and that might be a viable entry point to understanding the work. Going back to the title of the exhibition, which is Opaque, Translucent, and Luminous, since I wanted to project into the future with this show and not deal with the kind of tumultuous reality of the day and day that's hitting all of us, I thought of the idea of light to begin with and how light behaves physically and optically, but I also thought it could reach to a kind of metaphoric language as well. So yes, there are physical properties, like the window I'm facing now is translucent. So quite a bit of light is coming in, but since it's frosted glass, I can't see out. So already there's a prodding out of metaphoric content at the same time. The same with an opaque, you can't see in. So there's an obstacle, but it's also an optical reality. I'm always trying to look at language that can both function physically and descriptively and create imagery, but also have the capacity to travel into more metaphoric nuances and poetic nuances.